I think what excites me most about the research that I do is the opportunity to work in interdisciplinary teams. The very nature of research is a team sport and the opportunity to work with nursing staff, research staff, clinical trial coordinators um, and our participants who are real partners in our research for me is one of the things that gets me up in the morning. What excites me the most about my research is it's very relatable to my day-to-day -day practice as a doctor. And what I find exciting is by doing research, I can change the ways we practice day-to-day -day and improve the way we look after patients. I'm really lucky at Monash Heart to work with a great group of people um, and people who are super interested in research and are coming at cardiovascular research from a whole lot of different areas. The opportunity sort of to work in big collaborative centres has been one of the things that's been most fundamentally exciting to me. What excites me is the idea that there's great potential in discovering new bits of knowledge, identifying how we make new therapies and then getting them to patients where they can make a difference. Often research starts off with an idea and then you, you figure out projects or experiments to prove concepts and work around your idea. And I think eventually after all the work, if you, you prove your idea and that's something that you could bring back to the patient in front of your clinic, I think that really excites me and that makes me the happiest. So I would describe my research as primarily dealing with the unique aspects of heart disease um, in women. Women are underrepresented in cardiovascular research um, and we are increasingly coming to understand that there are unique aspects of the way they experience heart disease and um, also potentially unique risk factors um, around pregnancy, um, childbirth and hormonal factors throughout life that may mean that women experience heart disease different to men. My research involves understanding ways in which we can improve outcomes for patients with established cardiovascular disease or those who are at higher risk for developing worse cardiovascular outcomes. Specifically, we're looking at ways to improve the adoption of guideline directed medical therapy for these patients uh, and to look at ways in which we can overcome barriers to those guidelines adoptions. In cancer survivors, the leading cause of mortality and morbidity is cardiovascular disease long term. And it's a very under-recognised problem and that's where I spend most of my time looking into questions and ways we can improve cardiovascular healthcare in cancer survivors. One of the things that's really inspired me here is that this is also a centre that really prides itself um, on research. Um, it treats research as important um, and that developing collaborative research aims um, and groups is sort of valued. And it's also great for patients who get really excited about what, um, what work is being done in this area and potentially how they can contribute. We have such great opportunities here in this hospital to really translate what we see in the clinical coalface into the research environment. We very rarely make big leaps in research. We all move it forward an inch by inch. And so when you see that translate um, to the way in which we treat patients in the ward, that for me is a, is a huge part of, of what we can achieve here. Collaboration is really essential uh, for us to do the research that we do. Um, whether it's kind of working with cells in a bench or whether it's clinical trials, which we perform uh, across a whole range of hospitals, often in many countries across the world, um, you need many people to come together. And the idea of that multidisciplinary collaboration, we think is really where the cutting edge of research is and where it needs to be moving forward.